Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We headed out from the Arapaho caravan here, and Erastus was immediately on the radio. So that's it, Rangers. Can't stand no more waiting. We're going in. Enjoy the show. Door breaks. Come on, Dorsey's. The deluge of blood begins. Jesus. Okay, so that was definitely a matter of choosing one or the other. Uh, let's take a quick look at the map. We need to get down here to the Bazaar, but I'm thinking we'll go up to the Hoon homestead and see if we can save anyone first. Open. What's that? Lug nuts. An Arapaho cube truck and its escort. Cars are making a delivery at a Bordyard farmhouse. The driver looks around as you approach. I don't know who you are, but if you ain't looking for trouble, I got some stuff to trade. Fame obscure, okay. Don't know, okay. We hear the rapper are the best mechanics in Colorado. Would you mind looking at our Kodiak? Any highway wisdom for us, friend? We don't trade, we take. Show us what you've got. Okay, well, we'll try kiss ass here. Well, I ain't the best mechanic in Colorado. But how can I say no after a thorough ass kissing? <laughs> All right. Any highway wisdom for us, friend? Maintain your vehicle and don't stop if you don't have to. These days, a flat tire or a stalled engine could be the end of you, consumed by the elements. And I don't just mean the weather, if you get me. Okay. Uh, show us what you've just got. Some odds and ends I've taken in trade might be useful. Okay. A waste rifle, assault rifle. 14 to 17 damage. That's better than anything we've got. How much does it cost? 327. Let's click 19. Semi auto pistol. 54 to 65 damage. That is quite nice. Commando armor. Armor plus 7, healing bonus plus 20. That's quite nice, too. Um, do we need any ammo? Hmm. We don't have any nitro spikes, do we? So I think we'll get one of those, just in case. Uh, no glow. Purges the effects of radiation and any simple mutations. Need radiation, okay. Crystal clear. Used to remove the effects of drug withdrawal. Med dart. He's quite expensive though. But we could probably do with some ammo. So, it says that it costs one. But if we buy two, it costs three, and then five, and then seven. Let's just buy 50 rounds. 50 cal ammo. We don't have any of that. It's also quite expensive. Commando armor here seems pretty nice. Are we going to buy that? It's bloody expensive. But I would like it. I'd really, really like it. Uh, let's sell our junk, though. Let's take a look here, because you have plus four armor, plus three. This is only plus two armor, so why would I wear that? 
tactical armor plus five, you're plus six, you only have plus three. Put that on. Merit armor plus four. You have plus four, you have plus five, you have plus five, you have plus five. So there's no point in doing that. Uh, let's see what we have. Armor mod, plus one armor. Let's stick that on there. Or her. Or you. You already have something, dang it. What about you? You already have. You don't. Neither do you. Okay. What about weapon mods? I have a magazine. And we have a scope. Oh, ah, this is under barrel. Well, we'll put a scope on there. Put a magazine and an underbarrel on that. Okay. Well, let's head out. We need to go up this way. To the homestead. get to the bazaar as well. We'll go to the homestead for now. Um, yeah, it looks like we can go this way. Maybe. There's the home homestead. Okay, a large but rustic shack made to house the multi-generational Hoon family and their goats. Let's head to the Hoon homestead. So yeah, if you're enjoying the video, if you're enjoying the, the whole series of Wasteland 3 here, uh, why not hit that like button, let me know. If you dislike it, by all mean hit, means hit the dislike button. And uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, why not hit the subscribe button as well, the notification bell, so you know new, when new videos are coming out. Also, if you have any uh, tips or tricks or anything, no spoilers though, because we're doing a blind playthrough, then I would love to see them. I read all my comments and I reply to by far the most of them. So, let's head in here. So, what was that? Buried stuff. Frag grenade, a gutter snake, some ammo, some scrap, and a tactical grip weapon mod handle. Take chance plus three percent, I think. Well, I suppose we'll grab that. Let's see what's around. I really want someone with high awareness to be our in the front, and that's Seuss, so that's fine. Let's see if there are any traps or anything around. My guess is that there are. There are the hoons. Ooh, 
skill book. All amount of weapons by one. Nice. Explosive barrel. Let's not shoot that. This place has been burnt to the ground, man. Waste wolf. Okay. Uh, Professor Higgs is our... Animal Whisperer, right? Yeah. Where'd the Waste Wolf go? Waste Wolf? Where is it? There. Tamed. Nice. We have a Waste Wolf. Uh, strike like a wolf in the dark. Sneak attack damage plus 10%. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, let's just send Seuss out here real quick and see if there's anything hidden out here. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, I want Seuss to be in front. Is there anything in the bathroom? There's a toaster over there. Try and repair that. Molten gold toaster case. A finely sculpted toaster casing made entirely of gold, untouched by time. Price 1000. MP grenade. Uh, good for battling artificial light bulbs and pranking folks with artificial organs. <laughs> okay. Uh, throw to inflict shock on anyone in the affected area, dealing minus 10% con and damage and minus two AP for one turn. Robots also have a 50% chance to become glitched, causing them to attack allies for three turns. Okay, nice. Put that. Anything else we can loot? There's something there. Toxin cell weapon mod. Wow, requires 10 weapon modding. Once the fix, the cell delivers a slow drip of toxins onto the weapon's contact surface. 100% chance to apply poison. Nice. Uh, cut rifle barrel. Uh, some, uh, plus one penetration, plus four max damage. Minus four uh, minimum damage. Okay. I guess we'll loot that. And there's a door there. I'm surprised there are no traps around. Really surprised, actually. Can't get in there. Anything back here? No. Okay, I guess that's it. Let's head out here. Check this out. Can't go up there. Okay. Fine. There aren't really any there isn't really much around here. Another waste wolf. Brave. He took everything, so I chose nothing. Okay. Can we get this other waste wolf as well? Guess not.
I don't think we could do anything else at that grave, so... This will come out here. Well, sorry Hoons, but we had to do the caravan. Let's just see if there's anything up here. Nah. Nothing. All right. Yeah. Protecting yourself from radiation on the world map is critical. Upgrade your chassis back at the gar garage to punch through that radiation and lo unlock more of the world map. Okay, cool. So there are places that we can't go right now because of radiation. I like that. I like that. Okay, let's head to the Bazaar. In our last episode, Hogo Fogo, master criminal of the Wild West, had Hogo cornered Fogo. the lovely Winifred in the Stetson City Cemetery. As the dastardly villain closed in, he was confronted by Tornado Lou, the sultry songbird of the Trigger Whiskey Saloon. Now oh. Lou lies no. dead at Hogo Fogo's feet, and poor Winifred has nowhere left to run. No one can save you now, Winifred! You're mine! No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love those little things that they put in the game. Those little details just make all the difference. Natural shelter. The trees that meet over this ravine keep the snow out and its depth would hide a fire. Stay in the night to recuperate. Hide the Kodiak. Kodiak then make some repairs. Search the area. Animals have been here recently. They should still be around. Or well, they could still be around. Uh, see if the animals left any food around. Found some roots. Eating them makes you feel funny. Okay. Well, we're heading to the Bizarre. Oh, we need to go this way. structure. An entrance to an underground bunker looks like a recent avalanche wielded and you might be the first to find it. A sign over the door reads Silo 314. Test the structural soundness of the door with some precision explosives. Lock picking. See if you can pick the lock. Uh, let's see if we can pick the lock. It takes you nearly 10 minutes but the lock finally falls to your superior skill and patience. That was pretty grueling though. Some very paranoid people secured this facility. Very par paranoid. This facility looks untouched, but many of the lower levels are frozen blocks of ice. Or are a frozen block of ice. The stairwell wells and an end in a miniature frozen lake. Search for odd and unusual tech. Scammers, what you can from their offices. Make meal and rest up. Let's do the science. It just works. Item gain. Ooh, a skill book. With your knowledge of or tray and inventions, you would have passed 
Well, where a lot of the boring looking junk cluttering up the bunker. Fortunately, you know better. This place is a gold mine of weird. Alright, we gained a lot of stuff. Okay, cool. Oh, we'll, we'll check out the Clown Museum later. I actually think I have a book. Uh, what was the skill book that we got? It was this one. Permanently increased weird science by one. I spiked times two. Jesus, we gained a lot of stuff. Phase blaster. Wow. We gained a lot of stuff, guys. A lot of stuff. Very nice. Mm, let's see. I think I have... A Colorado Robot. Uh, the Journal of Ali Blur. The Clown's Guide to Paints, Makeup, and Acid. And this was the Clown Museum. So, we should probably read that book before we go in there. Right now, I really want to go to the bazaar. The bazaar! I guess we'll head in there. A pre-war mall, and once the headquarters of the Savage Monster Army, now an indoor market and regional trade hub. Bizarre exterior. The Monster Army ruled a significant portion of Colorado for many years, until they were defeated by the Patriarch and the Hundred Families. The Bizarre, once their seat of power, is now the only area they still control. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get in there and see what they got. And if the smiling lady is there, then we'll probably be fighting her. Uh, that looks like a smiling flag, doesn't it? A uh, pair of lips smiling on, on that banner there. So probably the smiling lady is there. We'll see. Madam, please. I assure you, your bizarre shopping experience is completely safe. You may have folks fooled, Ananda, but not me. I know something is fishy here, and I'm leaving. Shame. Ah, over Someone's here, friends. Welcome. Is there anything else around? Well, let's talk to Ananda here. Before you stands a man dressed in an impeccably clean, well-maintained suit. He bows with a flourish as you pr approach, and without pause starts rattling off a practice, a practice spiel. Salutations and assorted felicitations. Welcome to the bazaar, the marketplace of the unusual. I have not seen you here before. Know this. The bazaar can be found underneath our feet, buried by layers of snow. Access is restricted to the lucky few who possess an entrance pass. You can purchase an entrance pass at the door from our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army. Or, if you lack the funds, simply find an established merchant to vouch for you. Okay. Why is that woman leaving? Sorry, the bazaar is what? Uh, why would we want to get into the bazaar? That was quite the spiel. Why was that woman leaving? Oh, a misunderstanding, I assure you. There have been some troubles in the bazaar of late. But nothing our esteemed host, the Monster Army, can't resolve. I assure you, inside the bazaar awaits a satisfying and secure shopping experience. Okay. Up the ramp, you'll find the door to the bazaar, covered by a vehicle. My name is Ananda Rabindranov, Mannerite missionary, merchant, and your humble servant. I was assigned to answer any questions you may have felicitations 
Okay. Uh, we're looking for the people who've been smuggling refugees into Colorado. Do you know where they are? That is an impressive suit. We have some more questions. Have anything for sale? No, we're looking for the people. It is common wisdom to keep one's mouth shut when one lacks courteous things to say. Truly, I find the very idea of smuggling people revolting. With that said, if I were a less discreet person, I'd suggest that you drive out to the old parking garage down the road to the north. Who knows? You may find your answers there. Okay. Can we speak more about it getting into the bazaar? To get inside, you need an entrance pass. You can purchase yeah, one at the door, that. or find an established bazaar merchant to vouch for you. Uh, could you vouch for us? Would that I could. But we are limited in how often we can vouch for outsiders. Uh, who could vouch for Any us? Any bazaar merchant. Of course, they are usually found inside the bazaar, not out here. In the encampment behind me, you could find some hopefuls looking to get in. Perhaps if you can aid them, they can aid you. Okay. In theory, could we use someone else's paths? In theory, yes. But those of us who have a past tend to safeguard it with our lives, so it is highly unlikely you would get to use another person's pass. I have heard okay. of people giving their entrance passes to family members. Perhaps you have a rich uncle. Occasionally, people disappear in the nearby ruins, and strangers acquire their pass. I'm sure I don't need to say this behavior is most untrustworthy and impolite. Okay, so a rich uncle. So we do have uh, Gideon Reyes, who could possibly get us a pass. Mm, want to talk I about can only else? hope I will have the answers you seek. Uh, that is an impressive ah, suit. I thank you. It is a pleasure to meet people of taste, a true rarity in these uncivilized lands. I endeavored to provide the teachings of Mr. Manners to those inside the bazaar. Alas, they seem to prefer that I spread the good word out here instead. A folly, I think. But who am I to question our gracious hosts? Indeed. Uh, do we need a tailor? You do seem like people of refined taste, without a doubt. But a man of class does not abandon his employer at an inopportune moment. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but this is a dangerous time for the bazaar. Friends, okay. go inside. Speak to Mr. Jacob Martin, or as others call him, Flab. When the bazaar is safe again, my conscience will be clear, and I will be most pleased to join you. Okay. Have anything for sale? Naturally, I have a variety of goods for sale that could suit your needs. But let's not barter out here in the cold. Join me in the warmth and security of our encampment. This way, friends. Okay. If civilization collapses, all of Colorado Springs will look like this. Quotes of manners. Cabbage Patch Kid, a collectible doll with a large plastic head. Unfortunately, it's not a creepy doll. The Book of Nauseatingly Correct Manners, Chapter 1, on the proper use of etiquette. It is a common misconception that etiquette exists as a means of affirming one's social status at the expense of the uninitiated. That is, it serves as a barrier to keep the uncivilized apart from their betters. Of course, nothing could be further from the truth. Etiquette and proper manners are the glue that binds civilized society together. And it is the duty of civilized persons to educate the less fortunate for the betterment of all. Proper etiquette, gentle reader, is the balm that soothes the savage beast. Okay. Well... I guess in the next one we will see what uh, Ananda Rabindranath has for us and check out uh, the Great Gurn and Paris Handler as well. See what they're all about. And then we'll try and get into the Bizarre. We did get an addendum uh, for our mission here, Unwelcome Guests. 
uh, ward right now. According to Nanda's Rabindrath, Granath, the smugglers may be hiding near an old parking garage. Ananda suggests that we follow the road and heading north from the Brassar entrance. Okay. All right. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.